Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Russia. Uh, sorry about the little delay we had between videos. I had to go away and <clears throat> you know how it goes with travel. I got sick. So, but we're back. I lost a bit of the momentum. What I remember is probably more or less what has happened. It's just this war with Great Britain. So, I expect in this episode we'll find ourselves in another fleet battle. Of course, they are whittling away at our ships slowly. I mean, we aren't losing the big ones, but uh, we have ships that are just going to need lots of time to repair. Lots of time. So. so let's see what the next turn holds for us. Oh. Let's get this guy to active since he's got a star. And everyone else looks okay. Very good. Okay. Well, uh, one to four. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take those. Re okay, good. They suppose they have a lot of uh, mines because they have a lot of their light cruisers. They're just a new light cruiser, and they have mines um, attached to them, which allows them to have mi like mine events on the strategic map. But we are sinking quite a few British ships here. So this is an enemy raid on coastal shipping. I'll decline this. Uh, another one, which I can't decline, which sucks, but that's okay. I just am not a fan of these raids. So this is where I would really prefer that uh, automated simulate this battle button. Well, it's going to end up being a big battle. The problem is we have to find them. So our ships are going to start in control, which means we're not going to run into them to find, like, yeah. Basically what I said. No, we're going to have to go find the enemy ships. So who's my core? It looks like Petropavsov is my core. So is the Gren and the Sharp. I want everyone to go to AI control basically because I don't, maybe it's because I'm not feeling 100%, but I kind of want, I don't want to have to control too many things here. Well, let's get the uh, light cruisers to move into support. Yeah, you're my scout, so we'll put you to AI control as well. And I plan on just kind of merging these groups. Everyone will go to AI control, but we'll we'll just kind of merge the two groups very as quickly as possible at least. Let's do it this way. They're probably coming from over here, so we'll go check there. That's a mess, but you know what? We'll get the formations more in line when we encounter the enemy. And we'll go up to fast speed. finding them out here. I didn't even move the screen, sorry about that. Okay, now let's get all the things going. Yeah, we're not finding them this way, so let's just swing back down this way, I guess. Unknown ship fires at Minesweeper. We 
Bear report? Nope, nothing yet. Okay, so where is the MS Fetnik? Oh, this could take a while. Could it be the last one we open? Uh, maybe. Huh. Did they sink it already, or where is it? I don't see a Vetnik. Hmm. This is very strange. Okay, there we go. There's the contact. So we are moving in the right direction after all. Might as well go and try to exploit this. This is uh, fleet size zero, or one, I think. So that means that they shouldn't have any dreadnoughts in here, if I read that correctly. And even though we're being threatened here and being shot at, uh, I don't want to raise steam flank speed until... Uh, we do have this, is this the 9 inch? No, this is just a 6 inch, but uh, I don't want to go flank speed until we have uh, them in sight just because we have some coal burners here. And I might actually have to use the heavy cruisers. We have a pretty light force overall. don't know exactly where this is, but I think we're headed the right way. We're getting there. Okay, we've sighted an unknown ship. Now we can get everyone up to uh, battle speed, which I guess is going to be 18. Alright, let's see what happens here. What are we up against exactly? Now, I think we're going to try to engage them and defeat them. Because we do have a Cesarevich and we have, uh-oh, a Repizan. We only have two. Uh, that's not amazing, to be honest. I don't know what these guys are. Are these Reuben class part of mine? Slav. Wow, what the hell formation is this? Okay, well, just go to support line ahead, please. Oh my gosh, this is bizarre. I have some ships in bizarre places. Okay, let's go. These guys support line abreast, turn together. Okay, turn you off AI control. Support line ahead, very good. We're going to merge all our lines in together and see if it's worth taking a whack at these guys. But th so this is kind of the problem when you run things under AI control. It just, they don't really behave well. Wait, was that my destroyers? Nope, yeah, that's light cruisers. Yeah, let's move them back in. So what do we have going on now? Okay, they're coming in. They have the wind advantage. Okay, Petra pops off. She's going to have to be the hero of this uh, engagement. So, it's well that she starts off that way. Is that an AMC? Okay, what do we have? Oh, the Princess Royal. That's a very good sign. 
We could definitely handle Princess Royal. In fact, even our Retvazon should be more than capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, which means even if the other one is a big one, we have a one big versus one big, the Cesarevich versus their big, and then we have our Poltava should be better than their uh, not big, their Princess Royal. That guy looks like he is staying in formation well. Let's get this guy to also join support line ahead. Oh, I see. So that's how it's going to be. Well, it does appear like my guess was kind of correct. The how class is probably about... Well, we have a really good chance of defeating the how class with our uh, Cesarevich. But the problem is... They have two more battle cruisers moving in, and we don't have any battle cruisers who can we can counter with, which means we'll have to use destroyers. I think. So knock on wood that we get some kind of ah uh, oh, three of them, huh? Maybe some kind of turret flash fire would be good here. We're already getting hits on their turrets, so. There's a real chance of it. Okay, let's have you go to... Yeah, line head's fine. Good. So some of these guys are staying in formation well. It's probably just that I haven't got them on the right roll or whatever. So are you the lead? You are. And what are you guys... Your core line ahead? Get you guys go line... Um, AI? Okay, the renowned class is... Wow! The hell? Doesn't look like a renowned. <laughs> what the hell? They have to get, really got to work on their resizing. I think that's actually been fixed in a later patch, but I think any second now we're gonna have to dispatch our destroyers and uh, just beat a hasty retreat to Hango. Yeah, so these guys can't just cannot take a hit. We'll get them to launch their uh, people on a torpedo attack. <clears throat> get everyone into the AI control stuff so I don't have to worry about it. What are these guys up to? Get them into AI control. Because I think we are still, in the end, winning the engagement so far. And this is the scariest ship we've seen yet. 12 16 inch guns. More than a match. Well, extremely low. Extremely low armor. But more than a match in, other, in every other way for uh, the Petropavsov. We're still doing well, you know. We're getting a few uh, important hits. I don't know what we're going to do the Renown. Wait. I, oh, the how completely turned off. Interesting. Now we're starting to hit the Renown. Which is another one we could actually do some damage to with our 13-inch guns. This is an old ship. We could really get this one. We, could, we really could. The destroyers are, it looks like, deciding to make their attack run. They have a Niobe here, too. Good god. Australia is the only one that we could possibly stand up against. So we're just getting lucky right now. We're ha we have very good. Um, okay, which one's the? This is 16 inch. Oh gosh, that's that's painful. Oh, uh, they knocked a turret out. No, it was already jammed. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, the bridge was destroyed. Well. We're already kind of beating a retreat course to Hango, and I think that that's how this episode will go. We're still doing well. Oh my gosh, another turret just... They're blowing through 14 inches of armor, which is not surprising. This guy is firing huge 16-inch shells at us. We'll get all ships to engage in torpedo attacks.
Okay, we could take their Lyra class out if we want, I guess. Yeah, we're really getting hammered by the Ibuki here. So we, uh, we just have to do something. I don't know what these guys are doing. They are core line ahead, but it doesn't seem like they're... What? Like, what are these guys doing? Oh god, I should not have skipped that. So we got a lot of damage done to us, I think. Disabled. Pass through. Hits. Okay, let me see what exactly happened. Is the rudder jammed? Crap. Okay, well, Poltava will just head, continue to head to port. We're close, but not obviously close enough that I'm comfortable. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. I just have no idea. We are launching all our torpedoes. These guys are reacting. The problem is we're going to go right into their new line. I mean, the torpedoes are doing really good. Uh, I, I mean, I have to say, 13 inch hits. I'm going a little too fast here. Gren got hit. Some of these are not significant though. Okay, let's just get this guy under, not under our control because he's just doing nothing. And what the hell are these guys doing? Support, line of breast, go make your torpedo run. Hmm, it's just kind of bizarre. Oh, your rudder's still jammed? Good god. Eh. I don't think 9 inch hits will do anything. It's close, but probably not. Okay, 9 inch. 15 inch hit. We were able to get one sizable one. And we already know that, you know, probably they'll just be able to escape. Even if. Um, we do a lot of damage because that seems to be the way it goes. They, they were able to get away with like three torpedo hits in the last one. Just to give you an idea, like that's, I think three torpedo hits is what sank the, I don't remember which ship it was. Um, the Dreadnought class battleship the from World War One that the British had. It was in Scapa Flow and it was torpedoed by U-48, I think. Uh, anyway, it sank with only three hits. There was another one in the Mediterranean. Was that the... I, I, I want to say, like, Respite, Revenge, something like this. One of those was, of course, bombed. Well, not of course. It's not extremely well-known. But one of those was just sank by Japanese um, airplanes. Betty bombers, I think, uh, in Southeast Asia. But another one was torpedoed by a different submarine captain with four torpedoes, and that uh, sealed her fate. We haven't had such luck. Our three torpedoes. We're not able to. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. So where is the Gren? I don't know what what these guys are exactly doing. I don't necessarily want them to go in hard. Have you solved your problem yet? Yes. Squad Max. Well, top is way over here. She'll make it back for sure probably need her to come back even to provide a little support good oh okay this is good this is really wow a nine inch gun the rabbit well i don't know if the rabbit still watches the series but that is that is amazing that could turn the tide of this uh battle so now we really just need to get out of here good good job Grom grumpy is the only one who's really doing his job well he's already launched several torpedoes like, what is this group doing? I have no idea. Okay, deck hit, but did not penetrate. We hit the Renown. Blinson hit by a torpedo. Okay, then dodge. Get you guys to port. Hopefully, I think if you can get them to port, their, all their damage is frozen. I mean, that's how I'd expect it would happen. Alright, Poltava, you've done a good job. Start pulling back. A 
Oh. Oh man, she's down two turrets already. <laughs> she's barely functioning. Oh god, the battle cruiser's over there. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to manually control these guys. They've been a very dis big disappointment. I don't know. I, I just if it made sense what the AI was doing, I wouldn't complain so much. But just the light cruisers are running off to the left. Uh, it didn't seem like there was that was a sensible course of action. No matter what, I don't know what their AI algorithm was saying that they should do over there. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll try to lay smoke with everyone left. And we need these guys to get into action quickly. If we get lucky here, we can still escape. Another hit on the Renown. Who has taken heavy damage in all this? Oh man, this is very brave. Launch! Okay, Sharp is sinking. No. Come on, buddy. There's another one. <laughs> Wait a second, where did the other one go? Did it hit? Oh gosh, they've cut off our retreat to port. Oh my gosh, we're gonna lose a lot of ships here. Sharp is already sinking, I think. We just need to get the petrol piles off in the Poltava home. These are the, this is the goal. It looks like... So we got these guys to retreat, that's good. This is yet another group? Because there's an Apicure over here. Oh my gosh, we're, we're like, this is... The odds are extremely, extremely overwhelming. <laughs> Very much not in our favor. We just gotta get back to port. All right, we're gonna use the shell of the rabbit, who's now starting to sink. We're gonna use her shell as a cover. Okay, here we go. So we just need to get, well, they're gone now. See if we can sneak into port. There, they're coming back. It's funny. I'm not even. I'm not exactly concerned with the Petropavlov right now, and I should be much more so. We're almost there, though. It's like a graveyard over here. <laughs> oh, they still got through to the Poltava. Wait. Yeah, that is this group. Oh boy. We have an installation over here. It's probably a six inch. Oh, this is their bombardment target. I see. Well. Okay, the Poltava is starting to actually return some good fire. Very low armor. I mean, we could get really lucky. Oh, we could sink ourselves. Okay, we want these guys to turn south because that means the Poltava is almost there. 
almost there. And then we gotta get the Petropovs off him. Oh god. He's being pincered. Who is even alive out of these guys? <laughs> You're actually alive. Blinson's actually alive. I thought Blinson's was dead, but she's actually she's actually alive. Gren is alive. The rabbit is sinking, as I remember. Yeah, there it is. Holy cow. I guess we'll have to run these guys right at them. Get this guy into port. Okay, good. We're still launching torpedoes, supposedly. How many torpedoes do you have left? Three. We're going to need all of them. Every torpedo. Launch everything. Or just launch nothing. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I prefer you launch everything. And we got some more ships in there, so we just need to try to cover the Petropos off. Uh, with anything. The Gren, with anything. Oh god, another hit. Wait, how did the Poltava get hit? She's in port. Maybe they, maybe they still model them. I mean, that does make sense. Oh my gosh, she's taking some serious damage. Alright, well we are launching torpedoes. We got them! Okay, well this might discourage some of their launching. That's 42,000 tons though. We'll be very lucky if it's the case. Okay, she has a max speed of 11. So this is going to be a game of creeping to port. Still able to hit her despite like you know I'm putting all these ships between her. <laughs> like, why are you on air control? Please, you are now tasked with launching all six of your other torpedoes. We're so close, my gosh. Are you rudder? No. Oh, they need the other side. They need the other side. It's close. Aha, another hit. Okay, Bolslav is... Oh, this one has two starboard torpedoes. Come on, Ruben. Come on, Gromke. You guys have to save the fleet. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look good. Oh, she's dead. I don't see how we can get, a, get out of this one. Still somehow hitting the the freaking Poltava, which doesn't make any sense. That's not that's not okay, computer. That's not okay. I don't find it okay, at least. They're still destroying turrets on the Poltava. This just doesn't make sense. Come on, game. Alright, Grumpy, you gotta launch your torpedoes now. Ah, uh, you can't. Well, then, force them to turn. That's weird, that just glitched. Do you have any torpedoes? No. Do you have any torpedoes? No. Nobody has torpedoes. Except the Petropavlov herself. You have torpedoes. Why are you not firing, Ruben? We got him. What? How? I didn't see anything. I was staring, sitting here staring the whole time. Okay, let's see. Uh, a lot of our guys are hitting the book here, but she... Actually, she has pretty light armor. We might be penetrating some. Voltava's still being hit, which I just... Enra enrages me quite a bit. It's very unfair. Yobi is the one doing down here, doing some damage. Ruben hasn't launched... Did she launch? 
No, she still hasn't launched. How did that torpedo hit? I don't... I'm not fully sure. Blinson's going down. Okay, Abuker was hit with a six inch hit. Poltava's still getting hit. It's frustrating. Another turret destroyed. This ship is completely non-functional. Oh boy. Well, this is not going to be a victory. You know what, Ruben? You could have you could have done something though. Ah, oh, the Verney has so many torpedoes left. Well, I guess it's all over about the crying now. That was that 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 was a hit. Ah. Let's get the Ruben turn. Maybe she'll launch something at the Niobe. The rabbit is sunk. You have one more starboard. We're just taking pot shots at the Nobi here. There it is. All right, let's slow this down. Douche. What? That's always really frustrating to me. I mean, it looks like it goes right through the ship, but what do I know? Obviously, I don't know anything. Uh, Petro Plov's office is a goner. We're going to lose everyone else here. That's alright. I mean, I was just trying to take a few of these ships with me because it would have been nice to land a few of those hits. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, there she is. She's sinking. It's fine. If we can get the Reuben out of here, I guess I will. But, nope. <laughs> Ruben sinking. If we can get the Vernie out of here, I guess I will. Oh. Nope. Oh. Vernie might make it, though. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So we have no ships left. I think. Ah, excuse me. My only hope is that in all this running around, maybe they are doing some damage to themselves. So this was a huge setback. Uh, this probably mirrors more or less how I feel. <laughs> I don't feel very good right now physically, and now I don't feel very good about our, <laughs> our Rule the Waves Russian campaign. That did not go well at all. Well, she was a brave ship. She served so many times, served so well for us on many different occasions. But now we just gotta tick out the clock. See how many uh, minesweepers we even have left. Okay, Twilight, hopefully that'll mean we can soon go to faster speeds. Not yet. Uh, you know, whenever the Germans are done, ra I mean, the, the British are done ravaging our fleet. Whenever they finish. Okay, that should more or less do it. I guess not yet. Okay, that should do it. Oh boy, I have to sneeze real fast. <coughs> boy, that one just hung there for a second. Uh, and just to kind of pour salt in the wound, we'll use another. So, for sure, we knew this would be a major victory for them. We did end up sinking their one dreadnought, but not, not any of the other ones. We didn't get very lucky. Which one is the one that almost sank? 
the Abukir Battle Cruiser had. Wait, this is only considered medium damage, though. Ah, the Renown class has actually got heavy damage. So let's see how many torpedo hits we landed. Is this torpedo hits? Yeah. So two on this Abukir. I really gotta know, I really gotta know what kind of torpedo defense these guys have. Two torpedo hits just did almost nothing. Probably torpedo class four, torpedo defense four. Yeah. And we did hit the Niobe, but that didn't matter. And then the small lengths. Okay, well, yeah, it, obviously just not a good score. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's see, we're down 150,000 total points in this one. It just makes the battle really even. And it does get rid of a lot of our heavy cruisers, which I, I kind of wanted to do anyways. In fact, we now have zero heavy cruisers. They all sank in that one battle. Wow. Wow, that's so massive. I mean, the biggest thing of all was losing a Cesarevich, which we, we just could not afford to do. I tried everything to get that Petropavlov in, but... They pincered, they just had, well, I mean, I didn't look at the numbers there, but we had two Dreadnoughts, and they had, uh, if I just recall, if only I could rewind the video. I mean, I'm just guessing they had like eight. Outnumbered about four to one. Yeah, it's not good. And, and things don't go well accordingly. So I'll still save this. This is still... Uh, it's an unfortunate consequence, but part of the reality of dealing with uh, Great Britain it adds to the drama. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to call this video to a close here. It was an exciting episode. Um, maybe I should have taken a break before recording. <laughs> a longer break, but I've come back early to only report bad, bad things. But that's okay. So, let me think real fast. What could we have done better? I probably should have taken a few ships off of AI control, like those light cruisers. Um, I don't like the fact that they went to the, you know, they were, we were going in this direction. They went to the left, to the southwest on AI control. I, I just, if the AI control worked, it would be nice because it would take away a bit of the tedium of controlling all those guys. But when I get a little bit lazy, I think that this is the result. That, um, so I'll have to just... Uh, be a little bit more on top of my game next time. Also, it may have been a slight mistake to let the Poltava distance herself from the Petropavzov. I mean, it might have been what saved the Poltava, so I'm not sure, but um, it's really easy to divide and conquer. That's usually my tactic against the enemy, and um, wow. We let them use it against us. The heavy cruisers, I mean, I don't think there's anything I could have done. They're just in the perfect spot where they're almost too weak to do anything. Uh, of course, that's not true. We saw that Rabbit sank the Dreadnought, so that was great. It's the only thing that kept us, really kept us in this war, was that one uh, lucky flash fire. However, they were just too weak to really do anything against the battle cruisers and Dreadnoughts, but too big and too slow to have any torpedo effect they don't really have torpedoes i mean they're just they're just an archaic piece that i wanted to retire i tried to get them out of northern europe several times but because of the blockade we weren't able to do anything about it anyway like i said that'll call this video to a close we'll pick it up and hopefully have a bit of better luck in the next episode until then take care